No, please don't put them in the fridge because then they get hard and crusty and then they're not good. What's going on, everybody? It is Friday night. If all goes well, this will be my first YouTube video as North Georgia Fisherman double dipping in two tournaments tomorrow. Cannot film the intro tomorrow because I have to be up at 3.30. We're going to Lake Hartwell for the Georgia Bass Kayak Anglers and the Georgia Kayak Fishing League. Placed 11th in another group uh, last month in Lanier. Super excited, hoping to get on a good pattern, get on a good bite. Lake Hartwell is an awesome lake. So looking forward to it. It's gonna be a great day of fishing and I will see you guys on the water. Yo, good morning, everybody. We are out here at Lake Hartwell in the middle of nowhere, apparently. There is not a single boat out here, not a single person. I almost thought about going somewhere else. I was completely creeped out in the middle of nowhere. But uh, we made it, we're here. We're gonna try to launch successfully. See you guys on the water. Some boat just passed by at like, I don't know, 50 miles an hour, 20 yards from me with no lights on. I've got all my lights on, everything. Some people, man. Anyway, let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Lord, we, we're here to glorify you. Father God, through your creation, through this sport, through our lives. And God, I just bless your name, Father God, that I was able to wake up today and be here, Lord. And I pray for every person that's watching. God, we, we love you. We praise you. Thank you so much for this opportunity to enjoy your creation in Jesus name. Amen. All right, guys, first cast is in a few minutes. I don't know how much I'll be able to record today. Um, I thought my battery pack was completely charged. And of course, there's always something. Uh, it's not completely packed. So, all right, guys, second cast of the day already on the board with the Fritz crank, of course. Yo, yo, can you hear me? Can you hear me, yo, bro? Yo.
long. I'm not really sure because it's on the crank, it's on the drop. Hey, GoPro highlight. Oh my God. Oh my God. Do not leave fish to find fish. Oh my God. Let's go. Let's go. That's gotta be 17 inches at least. Oh, I need that. I need that. The last fish I caught did not make 12. They are still here. That is a chubby fish. Come on, not again. All right, guys, that's fish number four. Fish number four, I had a really good feeling. As soon as I cast it, I was like, all right, I think I'm gonna get bit. I know that sounds really cocky, but I had a great feeling about it. So fish number four on the Fritz crank. Uh, working clay again. Um, I think, I think, I don't wanna jinx it, but I think we found our pattern for the day, if I'm not mistaken. Hopefully this continues to happen. We'll continue to see success off these clay bottoms. Hopefully this guy, oh yeah, he's gonna make it. He's barely gonna make it, but he's gonna make it. Oh, and he's all messed up. Oh, oh he barely made it. Here's the thing, you can hold the tail, but it's so hard to hold the tail and then get his length. It's extremely hard, so that's not happening for me today. All right, guys, fish number four on the day on the Fritz. Different color, lost my favorite one. 
you guys saw that earlier we're not going to make the same mistake again putting this bad boy away measuring this fish taking my time can't do that again hey gopro highlight so let's measure this fish it looks like a long one calm down now looks like we've got fish under us right now we've got one fish a couple fish maybe Looks like the crankbait is still on. Little picture. Nice little spotty. All right, guys, fish number five. I'm not sure if he's 12, though. I'm not sure if he's going to make the cut. I don't think he is. Nice little, <laughs> cute little largy. He's touching 12. He's touching 12. All right, 12 inches. I believe I am in 10th place. Six fifteen. when he got there, it was closed. He went to another one, it was closed. I just, I just hooked into a fish. I just hooked into a fish on the phone with you. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, sir, yes, sir, come on. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, in the net. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Love you, bye. Heck yeah. All right, guys. Just found a largie on the crank. It looks like maybe color wasn't necessarily the pattern, but the bait and uh, the movement of the bait itself and the water depth, I feel it's like what was really important. All right, guys, two largies. Number seven on the day, that one was 12.75. I need to find some better fish. Um, let's see. My identifier almost flew out, but I have two more. So I'm paranoid. All right, guys, battery's dying. Been struggling to get a bite, finally. Oh, man, made this, uh, okay. Made this purchase yesterday. The uh, white spinnerhead with the willow blades and the hammered blades, of course. For this, specifically for today, went and got it yesterday, but. Hey, what's going on guys? It is Sunday now. As you can see, my battery died like I mentioned. Um, haven't recorded like this in a long time. Transitions weren't that smooth. And uh, you know, it's something that I'll work on over time. So apologies for that. But um, at the end of the day, finished 10th in one group. That's the Georgia Kayak Fishing League group. 10th um, there and then in the Georgia Bass Nation Kayak Anglers group out of 90, finished 30th. So. Um, I'm proud of myself because last year I would have finished dead last and that's a huge, huge win for me. If you've uh, stuck with me this long in the video, thank you guys so much. Um, that day, basically guys, uh, caught everything with one bait except for that last large mouth. Um, but everything was pretty much on the uh, Fritz side crankbait. Um, I absolutely love these for this time of the year. The uh, tight action, um, the movement, the deflection off of um, hard bottom and I'll do a review on this bait later on um, but I was using the red crawl pattern and I did lose it eventually got wrapped up in the motor when I was um, uh, when I was measuring the fish 
I do think I could have done way better with the crawfish, uh, but I'm not gonna blame it on that. I'm not gonna make any excuses. Um, but yeah, using it on a 13 fishing, uh, fate black, moderate 7.3 rod. I absolutely love these rods by 13 fishing. I've got three of them uh, and in different, uh, different setups um, with a Shimano SLX DC baitcaster, of course, with the seven to one gear ratio. Love this setup so much. Um, just crank secondary points. So if you guys are interested, the rest of the video, uh, I've got the catches that I had for that day logged in. Thank you guys so much. And I will see you guys in the next video.